Uh, so for those of you again who are joining this room uh, just now, I'm Sherzad Mirzad, I'll be the room moderator. Uh, let me introduce our next presenter, uh, Mr. Mohammed Safter Bahati. And uh, um, their presentation is titled as a Role of Assessment in Language Learning, uh, a Survey. Uh, my warm welcome to you, uh, Mr. Bhatti. And uh, again, just to remind you, uh, I'm sorry. I'm to mute. Uh, yeah. uh, just to remind you, you'll, you'll be ha uh, having 20 minutes for your presentation. Uh, at the 15 minute mark, uh, you'll see uh, an uh, emoji appearing on my picture, a clock, and also I'll send you a message and then please to uh, bring up their questions or comments. Uh, thank you again for being here and um, I'll turn over the screen to you. Thanks. Thank you very much, Miss, for introducing me so nicely. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes, we can. Yes. Okay, am I audible? Yes, you are. Okay, thank you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum and a very good evening, good morning to everyone present in this session. This is Dr. Muhammad Sabdar Bhatti from the Islamic University of Bhavanpur, Pakistan, along with my co-presenter, Ms. Maria Noor. And the topic of my presentation is role of assessment in language learning a survey and that is a brief sketch of my talk respected audience education is a fundamental human right that plays a vital role in shaping the future of individuals communities and societies in order to improve the effectiveness of education it is crucial to engage in rigorous educational research that seeks to understand how people learn what factors influence their learning outcomes and how educational systems can be designed to promote equitable access and success for all learners. Assessment has an important role in education and it has a critical role in the teaching process. Through appropriate assessment, teachers can classify and grade their students, give feedback and structure their teaching accordingly. Basically, education stands as a bridge that leads people out of poverty into prosperity. In order to evaluate the improvement as well as individual students' performance, the student assessment must be performed in a very uh, technical manner, which proposes additional actions for advancement of teaching, learning, and distribute information by appropriate participants. Assessment plays a central role in the education of English language learners and bilingual children. Teachers generally use assessments to monitor language development in students' first or second language and track the quality of their day-to-day -day subject matter learning. Assessments should integrate grading, learning, and motivation for the students. Well-designed assessment methods provide valuable information about student learning. They tell us what students learned, how well they learned it, and where they struggled. Assessment is one of the most important aspects of language teaching and learning. It is an integral part of any education. Language assessment is a measure of the proficiency a language user has in uh, any given language. Learning a new language gives a person a chance to get to know a, a new culture, to understand that part of the world better, which has been till now been inaccessible to him. Traditionally, pen and paper examinations have been widely used all over the world, although new trends in assessing language ability have put more emphasis on learner autonomy and participation. Self-assessment and peer assessment are two concepts that have been introduced in alternative assessment. However, teachers in the Pakistani context may be reluctant to put these assessment types into practice because they are seen as authority handover. Impact of assessment. Dear audience, as education is one of the main pillars of the society, it fills empty minds with ideas and creativity 
without assessment we cannot enjoy the fruits of education in fact assessment in the collection of information about the student's performance it is not one time activity rather it is an ongoing process it gives answers to a question how good it is the crucial link between learning outcomes content and teaching learning activity it should determine the difference between where we are and where we want to be it is also concerned with the whole process of education these are some benefits of assessment in esl classroom as assessment is the act of judging the quality of something it is an integral part of instruction as it determines whether or not the goals of education are being met it affects decisions about grades placement advancement instructional needs curriculum and in some cases funding classroom assessment plays a vital role in the field of education the term assessment generally refers to test and examination through classroom evaluation our teacher can improve students learning and his classroom instructions as well the prime purpose of assessment is to provide feedback on the learning assessment requires the gathering and interpretation of information about student achievement to inform practice it recognizes what students know understand can do and feel at different stages in the learning process if we talk about the importance of assessment dear all the purpose of assessment is to improve learning inform teaching help students achieve the highest standards they can and provide meaningful reports on students achievement it makes teaching learning process active it provides feedback to the teacher and the taught it provides guidelines to the students it provides remedial instructions to the student it judges the worth of the learning and it makes learning easier if we talk about the significance of the assessment evaluation assessment and evaluation are the main parts of teaching and learning activities they have very close definitions and they are very often used interchangeably however they do differ from each other uh, to some extent assessment is in a general item which consists of methods and techniques used to gather information about students ability knowledge understanding and motivation whereas evaluation is the activity of collecting necessary information to determine if a program answers its goals it aims to discover which methods work and which don't now i would like to move towards the importance of english language language is a means of communication effective communication is possible only with the help of language it is defined as a combination of words to communicate ideas in a meaningful way the linguistic landscape of pakistan is rich and diverse there are 69 living languages spoken across the country besides the linguistic diversification english is perceived as a passport to better employment and upward social mobility in pakistan it is not only the language of various government organizations but also used for administrative and bureaucratic procedures in high courts the defense ministries mass media and education departments of the country in a society characterized by acute class division and intense class consciousness parents from the lower lower middle or working strata of society aspire to enroll their children in the english medium schools although teaching is not a skill yet an ever changing art it needs a lot of training and practice while culture is regarded as an external relation of the language if we talk about the significance of the study it will be helpful for the students for the teacher and will definitely improve the learning the objectives of my study were to discover the students perceptions about existing practices of teachers to integrate assessment in the classroom to examine the impact of assessment on students learning behavior to improve maximum engagement by the students to investigate the difficulties and challenges faced by the teachers in using innovative assessment techniques in the classroom and my research questions were are there any adequate number of sufficiently qualified and suitably trained teachers to use innovative assessment techniques in teaching english language in the pakistani context how effectively do english language learners respond and interact with the use of assessment techniques how effective is the use of assessment in teaching english what are the expected outcomes to be achieved by the use of assessment techniques in english language teaching my dear 
assessment is the systematic basis for making references about the learning and development of students. It is the process of defining, selecting, designing, collecting, analyzing, interpreting, and using information to increase student learning and development. It is on the whole accepted as one of the very crucial parts of our teaching. By this means, educators can determine the level of skills or knowledge of their students. Formative assessment is assessment for learning, while summative assessment is assessment for of learning. 200 students and 50 teachers from the Islamic University of Bahawalpur, Pakistan participate in this study. And the method, if we talk about the research methodology, it was descriptive in nature and research survey based. And the approach was quantitative and random something was done. A questionnaire for the students, a separate questionnaire for the teachers were used as a tool to collect the data from the respondents. And these are some factors which I deduced from the collected data. So the students take interest, 90% teachers agreed, participation, 80% agreed, confident, 80% agreed, motivation, 99% agreed, and improved learning, 98% teachers were agreed. And that is the graphic description of my talk. Now I would like to move towards my findings. Classroom assessment affects pupils in different manners. Students are able to evaluate what is important for them to learn. Classroom assessment affects students' motivation and as a result, students are able for self-assessment. Classroom assessment encourages knowledge, skills, and attitudes development in students. We can say that classroom assessment is the most important component that influences teaching and learning process. Assessment gives effective feedback. It is more effective if it gives feedback to both students and the teacher. It focuses pupils' attention towards their progress in development and mastery of skills. This will enhance efficiency of students towards educational goals. Different types of assessment has its own work, but most important are formative and summative assessment that gives feedback to students by the students. And in the end, I would like to give some suggestions and recommendations. Dear all, Assessment should be regarded as a key professional skill for the teachers, be part of effective planning of teaching and learning, and be recognized as central to classroom practice. We uh, focus on how students learn, provide constructive guidance about how to improve, develop learners capacity for self-assessment to make them reflective and self-managing. Take account of the importance of learners' motivation, recognize the full range of achievement of the, all the learners. It is recommended that communication courses should be planned to, to reduce hesitation among the students regarding face-to-face -face interaction as a significant academic barrier. If we want to see our students to be Aristotle, then we need to be Plato. So a teacher must have to perform both summative and formative assessment as needed. As assessment plays a vital role, so the teacher should manage students' record properly. A teacher must have a keen eye on assessment results students' mistakes and try to improve them. Proper training sessions should be conducted on assessment on regular basis for the teachers. Funds must be allocated for training purposes. Officials must have proper check and balance on the assessment of teachers. Institutes heads must have to provide facilities like printing, composing to teachers to make assessment instruments. These were some references from which I got the help. And thanks for lending me your ears. And uh, any question, please. That's all from my side, my dear. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Bhatti, uh, for this interesting topic and presentation. And I believe I also need to thank you and the previous uh, presenter uh, for uh, joining us from the other side of the world. Uh, I know it's after midnight uh, in Pakistan. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for being here. Uh, yeah, we'll open the floor again for uh, questions and comments um, uh, as before. Feel free to use the chat box or open your microphone. Uh, Mr. Bhatti, we have a comment uh, in in the chat box. If 
you can attend to that, or if you'd like me to read it out loud, I can do that too. Robin posed a question too. Yeah. Thank you very much, Robin, for your very nice question. Actually, uh, we as a teacher have to give our feedback to our students, whatever they are learning on the daily basis or the weekly basis, we have to take their some tests because I am working here as an English language teacher in the Islamic University of Bhavalpur. And I'm also working as the arts trainer here for the last three uh, decades. So on the behalf of that, on this my experience, I would like to see if the teacher is going to give his reflections on the daily basis on their uh, assigned task that is good for them. And the teacher should uh, start working with students as share and pair. Whatever the uh, one student is going to know, he should share uh, his knowledge with other students. In this way, they, uh, there will be uh, some uh, peer uh, reflection and peer assessment that will be helpful for them. And on the behalf of that assessment, the teacher should give his final assessment. Thank you very much. I think you have got the answer for, for your discussion. Thank you. We can take more questions and comments. It's a lot to, to share. Robin said, thank you. I hope we see more of these assessment types in our schools, not just for language learning. Sure, sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Again, thank you so much for being here, attending this conference. It's, it's uh, such a pleasure to have you all here and uh, meet you for the first time or uh, see you again here. Uh, I believe now we have a break. Uh, um, it is scheduled uh, as a uh, 75 minute break uh, until our next uh, plenary speech. Uh, which sounds very interesting too. The title is Do Well, uh, Do Good, Do Well, Do More Teachers at Advocates of Multilingual Learners. Um, so uh, feel free to take a break and uh, we'll see you all then. Thank you again. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much.